Good morning, team. Bright and early on day 24. Only four more workouts to go before we close the loop on the second grit regimen. I mentioned yesterday at the tail end of my video that I would be coming to you from a different location today. With the kids being out of school and off all week, Kristen and I decided to take Colin and Maddie out for an overnight excursion. So we're out at the Hyatt Lost Pines this morning, enjoying a little bit of a getaway as a family before we go celebrate Thanksgiving with my family this evening and then Kristen's family tomorrow. I love getting out and experiencing new places and new things, but I tell you, it is a bit of a challenge getting out of your normal environment. I never sleep well in hotel beds, particularly with four, four of us sleeping in the same room and a couple of us having colds. There was lots of coughing. There was lots of sneezing. There was lots of fitful sleep last night. So I can't say that I got the most rest or as good a night's sleep as I would have liked. However, I have already scoped out the hotel weight room and it looks like we do have kettlebells for this morning's workout so I'm going to make do. When I got up this morning uh, I started to get dressed and my daughter came in she found me and she said dad you gonna take a, a shower and I said no I'm gonna go work out she said well when are you gonna be back and I said well whenever I'm done that's what story athletes do right we show up no matter what the circumstances no matter what location or environment we are in we do our workout we write our context and we get better, 1% better every single day. So that's what I'm about to do. Kettlebell workout is about to go down. All right, team, the kettlebell workout is done. My time was a little bit slower today because I had to make a couple of modifications, both with weights and with the rep count, since the largest kettlebell they had here at the hotel was 25 pounds. Instead of doing uh, two-handed swings, I did one-handed swings with a 25-pounder, and then I supplemented that with a 35-pound dumbbell for the overhead presses, since that is the weight that I'm normally used to pushing over my head with my 35 pound kettlebell at home. But I was thinking, you know, as I was working out, since I was the only one in there, I was thinking to myself, you know, when you make a reservation at a hotel and you check in, they ask you any special accommodations. Do you need a crib? Do you need a roll away? And things of that nature. They should have a special box in there for story athletes. Do you need any kind of additional workout gear? Do you need a sandbag? Do you need a 45 pound kettlebell? That would be pretty fun. In any event, glad to get that sweat in first thing in the morning. I always like to do that, especially when I am traveling because it is the one thing that keeps me grounded and helps me level set for the day. Today's story athlete principle is something along the lines of knowing that fear is an illusion or fear is man-made. I can't remember exactly what the uh, wording was, but I have a perfect uh, context for that today. So I'll be back with that later. Uh, have a great day. Remember, just because it's a holiday doesn't mean it's a day off for the story athletes. Keep plugging along. We are getting really close to 90 straight days. Talk to you soon.